Hello everyone, this is VZZ32 back again with another Kickstarter Hall of Fame induction and this one should not come as much of a surprise. I hate to still be doing these videos, I would think that in 2016 we would not be having these problems on Kickstarter, but we still continue to have them and it's bullshit. Uh, the, my Kickstarter Hall of Fame is where I name and shame anyone who has not been living up to the expectations of backers on Kickstarter who has failed to deliver, uh, scam people, poor customer service, or lack thereof, or, you know, all sorts of things. If they're not living up to Kickstarter's terms, not living up to backers expectations, doing a poor job, or in whatever way, they're gonna be here. Today's induction is Eric Mata, Mata playing cards, and also I got on there Alvin Campana. I hate the name drop Alvin Campana because I don't know what, uh, I don't know really if this is his fault or not, but his name is on the account as being basically a partner. So since he's a partner in the project, he's a partner in crime. Unfortunately, like I said, I don't know how responsible he is for this, and I do apologize if this is not his fault, but his name is Anna, so I got a name drop him as well. <clears throat> the last updates on this project was on December 15th and November 24th, uh, November 2014th. Yes, November 2014 on the one project, which I'm getting to. And the last login was on February the 4th, so he's still taking on, uh, checking out Kickstarter projects, but he's not doing anything. He's not updating backers, not responding to comments or messages. Let's get into it. The first of all, he's got the Mana Sybil playing cards, which had $47,000 or so out of a $30,000 goal. He had a second Mana project, which was for a uh, signature series, I guess it was. Limited edition, overly expensive, uh, special tuck cases or gift boxes, whatever it was. Um, it was $9,700 approximately out of a $100 goal. And then there was the Buskers playing cards that you had $26,000 out of a $15,000 goal. So that's over $80,000 he received on those three projects. The MANA projects were both funded in September of 2014. One came right after the other. And so that's, you know, it's over a year and a half ago now. The other one was just funded last April in 2015. So September 2014 and April 2015. Last updates, like I said, was in December about fulfillment changes on the buskers. Nothing, um, nothing since, I guess there was also a, an update in December on the, uh, the mana ones as well. Apparently he's made changes to fulfillment in the buskers project because there was a lot of issues with fulfillment, uh, the fulfillment company he was using. <clears throat> but, there's still people that are waiting for the buskers and continue to wait, and who knows if they're gonna get, you know, what they paid for or not. I was fortunate I did get what I paid for. Unfortunately, the Mana Sybil decks ended up costing me over $40 at the door because they were sent via UPS. And I do believe that was the fulfillment company's fault. I mean, it was even in a US Post sipping box. So why they were sent via UPS, I don't know. I don't know what they're doing at this Niagara fulfillment, but it ain't good apparently. But I do not recommend them. Check out crowdfulfillment.com or use gamblers or somebody else who's reliable and does playing card projects, and not Niagara. Um, there's another one, what, what is it? A Wisconsin one, whatever, they're, they've done playing card projects, they're good too. Um, or whatever it was, I don't remember what it was. But this Niagara one is just not good. Um, was there no homework done on this company beforehand? Have they done playing card projects before? Not that I know of. I don't know. Uh, all I know is there is a huge amount of pissed off backers, particularly in the Mana projects, especially bad when they spent a hundred or two hundred dollars and they have not received what they paid for. As 
far as the buskers, like I said, there's been some fulfillment, but still quite a bit of issues. Some missing items, some mix-ups. So yeah, missing items, mix-ups. Some people did not get signatures. Some are missing coins. Some are missing something else, or this, or that. I don't know who's doing fulfillment for the buskers right now, if it's Eric Mann himself, if it's somebody else. But all sorts of problems, which is not good. <clears throat> Uh, as far as the charge that I received, I did contact him. He did respond. He said he was going to deal with that with the fulfillment company. It's been like two months. I still have not heard anything back. I did contact him again. He still had him, no answers. I don't think I will get any answers or any resolution. But I almost don't even care because at least I got the decks, even if it did cost me twice as much. I will also point out that many people have been blocked on Facebook. And on his Facebook page, simply for, on his Facebook page, which I think is Man and Magic, for asking, you know, about their decks, about their packets. And he just blocked them. Me, I checked out, I was going to check out his Facebook the other day, and I noticed that I've been blocked. I can't access it. Um, just horrible communication, horrible fulfillment and delivery. And here's another thing. He keeps posting... Updates asking people basically for sympathy and to post positive comments, you know, encouragement and stop bashing them and stuff like that. Why? You don't deserve any sympathy. Why sit back with sympathize with you? Because you're having fulfillment issues? This is all your fault. You should have done homework on the fulfillment or used somebody that was more reliable in the first place. Should have made sure you had the funding, goals. You should be responding to comments and messages. You should admit your mistakes. Not be blocking people on Facebook. And right now it's just, it's horrible, it's bad. This feels like deja vu with Eric Mana. It reminds me of everything that's happened with Circle City Cards. And, you know, the rest of Kurt Saval with Circle City and Adam with Circle City. And with the Vortex playing cards, which is from Alexander Isaacs. And other similar projects. The Feral Plane Cards. That, that, the Feral Plane Card Company decks. There's you know, other projects. Asylum decks. Etc, etc. Ultraviolet. I can keep going on and on. You can check out my whole Kickstarter Hall of Fame videos. But it reminds me of all these other ones. Communication. Almost non-existent. Telling people to stop bitching at you, not delivering, blocking people, unacceptable. As far as I'm concerned, Eric Mana is done and playing cards. He's never going to produce another deck because he's not going to get any pledging or very, very little. I know he's not going to get mine. Most of his backers are basically done. They're not back. So he's never going to produce another deck of cards, at least not via Kickstarter. And I don't know. And again, I don't know what Alvin Campana's part is in this, but his name is on the project. He's a partner as far as I'm concerned. And 50-50 responsibility. That is that. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know. Do you get your decks or not? Are you pissed off or not? I'm pissed off and I got my decks. And I don't even care that I got charged an additional $40 for them at the door. Because at least I got my decks. But I'm still pissed off. I feel bad for all the backers that are getting screwed over. I just think it sucks that this is happening again after so many other problems we've seen on Kickstarter, so many other projects that have scammed people over. And, you know, I just wish none of this was happening. It's crap. That is that. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.